Greetings, Toiletarians. I'm your host, Toilet Terry, and welcome to Toilet Talk with Terry. That would be me. With tonight's topic of... Thank you, it's good to be here. So yes, this episode we're going to discuss disturbing. What does that mean? Well, obviously, you gotta know what disturbing means, but if you look it up in the dictionary, what will you see? I'll tell you what you'll see. Right next to the definition, however, there's a picture of Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> Have you ever been at work and heard your coworkers saying the most disturbing things at random from their cuticle? It, it's hilarious. I mean, I've never had a job where I was in a cuticle, per se. Per se. I mean, my parents obviously have, but when I was in high school, I, I had this job, right? I worked at Chick-fil-A. I was in the break room, taking a break. It was on my lunch break. And then uh, somebody else from the other room, one of my coworkers, belched really loud. And no, that's not the disturbing part. Mm-hmm. After he belched, he said, excuse me in French. However, he didn't say it right. He said it completely wrong. He went a little something like this. <gasps> Excuse me, why? Talk about disturbing. Talk about cringy. My grandfather taught me some French since then. You see, he didn't know all French, but he knew, he knew some of it. Whenever he would say to me, Hey, how do you say so-and-so in French? Or how do you say this? Or how do you say that in French? I would never be able to tell if he was quizzing me or if he was asking me, like, so that he could know too. <laughs> Take this. He asks me, okay, what is one, two, three, four, five in French? And I can't tell if he's asking me or quizzing me. So I just say, un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq. Very good, that's correct. Very good, that's correct, is probably a translation for, wow, I didn't know that. Okay, I'll remember that. Okay, what is je m'appelle? What is your name? Well, my name's Mike, but it's grandpa to you. Now, back to the question. What is je m'appelle? What's your name? Uh, I just told you, it's grandpa to you. Now back to the question. What is je m'appelle? All right, say Jim Appel Mike. Jim Appel Mike. You just said my name is Mike. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay, next question. What does levez-vous mean? It means all rise, or all stand, all stand up. Very good, that is correct. Translation. Wow, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. We were watching Beavis and Butthead, right? One of them, I can't remember which one, was technically high on coffee. And he kept going, yeah, 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 yeah. My grandfather looks over at me and says, how do you say yeah, 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 yeah in French? And I go, oh, that's easy. We, 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 we. <laughs> He's like, no, uh, uh you do not talk like that in my house. What are you thinking, mister? I'm like, that's how you say, yeah, 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 in French. We, 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 we. And he's like, you're not playing with me? You better not be playing with me. I'm like, I'm not playing. That's really how you say it. He's like, wow. That's disturbing mm -hmm. what is most disturbing in my opinion is, is what I like to call M.O.P. yeah I know what y'all are thinking mop mm-hmm exactly M.O.P. that spells mop very good I think you're gonna win the spelling bee Heck, I think you could even win Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. But no. 
MOP in this case, or MOP stands for M making O out. Mm hmm. P in public. Public. Publicly. I mean, that. Watching that on TV alone makes me uncomfortable. Change the channel. Ariana Grande? Ooh, no. I'd, I'd rather watch the MOP program. MOP with ED at the end, or moped, is far worse than MOP, though. Far worse. MOP is the same, okay? But with ED at the end, okay? You ready? You ready to know why E and D make it ten times... Ten times more horrendous? Mm, you sure? Okay. Y'all brought this upon yourselves. M making, well, of course. Mm-hmm. P, or I mean, O out. Mm-hmm. P publicly. Mm-hmm. E, eternally. Uh-huh. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm Okay. On to it. D, with the devil. Which is metaphorical, by the way, folks. And I'll explain, if you don't mind me explaining. I heard this guy once who, well, he's now divorced from his wife, but back when they were married, just before they divorced, she went nuts and chucked his iPhone out the window. And she says to him, that's what you get for not paying attention to me and worshiping that stupid device. Hmm. <laughs> And then she says to him, which you're going to pay for to get fixed, not me. And then he says, back to her, no, uh -uh, I'm not going to have to pay for it. The devil's going to have to pay for it. You heard me. The devil's going to pay for it. Let me just call 666. Oh, wait. I don't have my phone. You chucked it out the window. <laughs> oh, boy. Speaking of phones, that leads us into our next topic. Join us on the next Toilet Talk with Terry for Number on the Bathroom Stall. All right. Don't forget to sub for more. What's to come next will be lit. You don't want to miss it. All right. Take care. Peace, folks.